Hi, I'm Jan from DAD, Digital Audio Denmark. In this video, I'll talk about how you get started with the configuration of your monitor controller. The DAD X32 has a built-in monitor controller, which allows you to actually set up a monitoring system ranging from mono, stereo, to surround, and even to Dolby Atmos. The whole configuration is done in what we call a monitor profile. The monitor profile is set up in the Deadman software. So let's look at how we do that. We go to Settings, Monitor Profile. We select the AX32 unit that we want to configure. Enable Monitor. And now we're ready to start configuring it. The first step is go into the white window here, right click on it, and add Monitor. This can, for example, be our control room. So we can rename it and call it Control Room or just CR for short. Within that monitor group, we have some sources, some outputs, which is typically our speaker outputs or monitor outputs. We can choose some fold downs, for example, from 5.1 to stereo, and we also have a meter output. The basic stuff is select your outputs. So we will add a new output set. You should then choose which format you want to work in. So if you have stereo monitor set, you of course choose stereo or LCR 5.1, 7.1, etc., etc. So in this case here, we have a pair of Dynaudios connected. So we will just rename that as our main output. Next step is to define what is the physical connection of that one. That's done over in this section here, where we have left and right channel. Right-click on it again, and in this case here, it's connected on an analog output, DA card, channel 1. And the second, the right-hand channel, is connected on DA channel 2. If you need to adjust the output level to match a certain SPL, you actually have a trim function over here, where you can adjust it by a number of dBs, so it matches the correct level. Now we've defined our output. We can add multiple outputs. So if we, for example, have a pair of near fields or we have a surround set, etc., we can just add another set, which can, for example, be our alternate speaker set. That can be the same format as the main set, or it can be any other format. Again, we assign the physical channels. In this case here, we'll just take DA channels three and four. So now we have two speaker sets, one on channels 1 and 2, and another on channels 3 and 4. Next step is to define the sources. So we'll add a new source. In this case here, we are receiving some music via the Dante connection, so we will just use it as stereo. But of course, you can choose mono if you're working with microphones, stereo if it's playback, 5.1, etc., etc. So we're using stereo. We will rename this as music one. And again, we assign the physical connection. So in this case here, it is a Dante card, and it's channel one and channel two. We then have a second track, which we have here, and we can rename that again. Again, it is a stereo track, and we can select where that comes from. So in this case, channels 3 and 4 on the Dante card. So now we have two speaker sets, two sources. You can add more sources if you need. Again, it can be same format, it can be different formats. It's all up to you. So let's just see how that works. So we'll close this window. And now we have a section here where we can see the whole monitor section. We have a two different sources, and we have a two speaker sets. And over here, we have a volume control. You'll notice we have some meters, and if I will just reduce the volume now, I will unmute my speakers. So, that's the basic setup of it. You have your sources, your outputs, 
And if you expand here, you will actually also see the meters on the sources and you can even adjust the level. Besides switching between them, you can even switch over here and select summing mode, in which case you are now summing the signals. Now, in this case, it wasn't particularly beautiful, but uh, it just shows what you can do with this. So that's the basic setup of a monitor profile in the Deadman software.